The 10 minute drill. This is a big one. Covered by Universal Roof and Contracting. The difference is universal. On 1010XL. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. Yeah. All right. Sports concepts and rationalizations coming your way. We call it the 10 minute drill. At the end of the drill, we hand out a gift. Beef, what are we handing out today besides a signed copy of the new hit Rookies? Uh, yeah, we're going to sign, uh, you know, 45 of Rookies. Yes. And uh, also. For your LP. Throw it on your uh, your little record player at home. Not sure that's a thing anymore. Yeah, and uh, and we'll also include, we'll actually include a twenty five dollar gift certificate from Win Dixie. Score more savings in the Win Dixie app. Download today for winning deals, your mystery bonus points, multiplier coupons, and more Win Dixie. It's a win win. It's funny you brought up the albums. I was watching something the other day. I can't remember if it was a reality show or just some feature on the news or whatever, but. I understand, like, nostalgia and how fun it can be and how cool it can be. But when it comes to technology, there's nothing nostalgic about listening to an LP mm. over a CD. No. <laughs> people like to. Some Why? people like With it. the hiss and the oh. crack? I mean, what? It's what? more. It takes them down the memory yeah, lane, I feel I like guess. the actual, the, the, the sound on right, the hiss. Yeah. Richer. It's not, yeah. It's yeah. Just, yeah, it's a little deeper, a little more oh. yeah, rich. Okay. Rich. Rich. Kind of like one of your stink bombs that you'll drop occasionally. That's a rich. We were talking sort in of the like br- the LP of farters. Oh, boy. what you are. Well, that it wasn't does. nice. It lingers. Uh, we were talking in the break, Dan, and I uh-huh. think this speaks to just how pitifully mediocre at best both of these teams have been. Yeah. I mean, the Dolphins and Jaguars have just gone AWOL really since their playoff meeting. Yes. I mean, neither one is amounted. To, I think the Dolphins have only been to the postseason twice since then. Yeah, we've we've probably been a little bit better than the Dolphins. Maybe to put it in context. Maybe, but just barely. Anyway, yeah. I think that's why. I, I remember the first Dolphins Jags game. It was a prime timer. Remember yeah, Freddie went like twenty one. Yeah, Freddie went like seventy on the first play of the game. Yeah, Paselli and Jason Taylor got in it. Yeah, Keenan McCardell Keenan. got deep a couple mm-hmm. of times. Mm-hmm. So the uh, and and you know I spoke to this earlier, Hick, and you'll remember this. I think people. Need, um, might be surprised if they're either younger or haven't been in Jackson long. But make no mistake, Jacksonville was undoubtedly a stranglehold Dolphins town before the Jags. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was Dolphins, Dolphins by a month. The Dolphins were as big of a local favorite almost as the Jaguars are, only because we've had so many more transplants now yes. that they brought in Bills and Steelers and those kinds of fandoms. But um, so that was a big game that Monday night game, the first yeah. time the two teams met. It was fun. Yeah, and they hadn't met in the, like, Jacks played 95, 6, and 7 mm-hmm. and never played the Dolphins. So the right. first time they met was in that Monday nighter, uh, the Jags win. Then they come back and they beat them in the playoffs 62 to 7. We've talked about that. But I would challenge you, Dan. Yes, sir. Uh, between those first two games, between that playoff game in two, early 2000. Uh huh. And the 2018 game where the Jags just, uh, I was on the cruise. Remember, I was on a cruise. That's how bad the game was. Jags won 17-7. I was at that game. I remember Calais won that game for us. Yeah. He was all over the place in the backfield. He was terrific. All right. There were six Jaguars-Dolphins games in between there. Tell me something from any of them. Mm. Ryan, I, I can't. Ryan Christofferson had a touchdown. No, that, no. That or a was, fumble. No, that was 95 oh. preseason. Oh. I mean, and again, this isn't to, to, to dis, you know discourage any you know, knowledge that we have of the team. It's just that's how mediocre at best these teams have been. Yeah. And uh, for the record, the the Jags have won five in the overall history, and the Dolphins have won four. Also a bad sign if you're an NFL team if the Jags are leading you in the series rivalry. Yeah, might not be the best. Not necessarily a good But, thing. you know, it's funny. I bet you the Jags have played the Dolphins the fewest – of any of the AFC team, East teams, except maybe the Jets. You well, think it seems like we play the Bills every year. Yeah, well, that's probably because we're finishing in the same spot as that. Uh, we've played the Jets a few times. Patriots, not a ton. Not a t- Well, yeah, all those playoff vic- – uh, that we played them four times in the playoffs alone, though. Yeah. So that's going to – you know, I would imagine – but you're right, regular season Patriots, I can remember maybe two up there and one down here. Not many more than that. There has to be more because you play them every three years. Let's look at the results. Oh, here. there was the one that Mojo um, – the, the, they lost to Brady. times. They played the, yeah, so that's more. Yeah. What about the Jets? Eleven to two Patriots, by the way, if you're scoring at home. One of those was the playoff win, and the other was the win in 2018, which was the yes. uh, the height of regular season football here in town. The, the 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 fever pitch of the fan base for that game, and then the way the team played. Uh, the Denver Broncos got a hell of a quarterback based on that game. Uh, Bills Jags have gone 17 times. All right. So we've gone nine times with the Dolphins to put that in context. Okay, and then the Jets Jags. I'm going to say Jets Jags is less than nine. Well, only one postseason game there, too, though. Jets Jags have gone 15 times. 15? That's another one that's hard to remember all those meetings. Yeah. 
Yeah, so the Do- Jaguars that- lead that series 8-7. Maybe we should apply for the AFC East. <laughs> well, it makes more sense. You know, we can't beat Although the, the Patriots. Although but- the South fits us as well geographically. So anyway, uh, that's kind of a backdrop. The Jags have some injury issues. DJ Chark out of nowhere on that injury report. I saw him take some shots on Sunday, and I thought I was, uh, you know, I, when he, the one where he caught the uh, crossing route and put his head down to go get the first down, they said he was on the long pass, but man, he got blasted on that. I mean, just blasted. Um, I thought that might have, you know, uh, hurt him a little bit, but you know, it's a deep position for the out, Jags. Toughed it out, and hopefully he can play. Though they 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 certainly need. Do him. you have a near one hundred percent unanimous opinion that the Jags are going to win tonight? No, I don't either. No. I'm a little nervous that everybody and their mother is picking the Jags. Yeah, I mean, every I haven't yeah. seen anyone pick the Dolphins. Look, if if you don't get here's the problem: the Jags don't get to the passer. Ryan Fitzpatrick gets it out quicker than any quarterback in the league. If he has a hot day. If he has a Fitz Magic day, yeah, then this could be a you know this could be a thirty four thirty game. The Dolphins scored twenty eight on the Bills last weekend. I don't know how. I don't. I, I looked at their you know skill guys, yeah. and not the greatest. No, not the I, greatest. I think it has to be a Fitz Magic game. If he comes out and he's just average, and then they pick him off a couple times, and I, I really want to see the Jags just revel in 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 some early season success. I mean, the team is. You know, they're engaged right now. They like the direction they're heading. You know, things are still positive. It will be nice to get out of this one a Thursday night or at home with a victory. Yeah. Now, I, I think they'll win, but I'm not, I mean, yeah, I was I'm gonna, a little nervous. I was going to try to, you know. Uh, uh, put him in the five pack. Put him in the five pack, but I'm going to take a pass on it. You change your mind? What yeah. is the spread? Three and a half? It was like, uh, it's been going up. It was a point and a half at the beginning. I got to it's three. Really, last I saw was three. Yeah, yeah, last I saw was three. So, and I think they'll win. I'm just not. Um, Willing to change the entire way we do the five pack for this one game. Holding steady at three. Yeah, yeah. I think they'll win too. But again, I'm not. Uh, and this, by the way, it's going to. I think be it'll easy. be a close game. So if they win by two, yeah, you know, that could be trouble. Yeah. So we'll see. But uh, you know, not having Lambo's big. I mean, for I, sure. Yeah, I mean, that's the guy's a, that's never a, missed here. Yeah, automatic. So literally, that's that's unfortunate. And I don't know if it changes. It must. Cha- it has to change the way you. You know, where we're going to drive. Yeah, I'll, where yeah. are we on you're what you're play line. calling? Yes, for sure. So that that must factor in, and not having Brandon Linder, although Shatley did a nice job last week. I get, I think this is Shatley's 16th career start with the Jags. 16th career start. How long has Tyler Shatley been with the Jacksonville Jaguars? Would you say mm, five years, maybe? I think I saw. I was watching one of those throwback games. You know, he went to Clemson, and I was watching one of those throwback games. Tyler Shatley's been here since 2014. Yeah, so it's sixth year. This is his seventh year. Um, and they had a close-up of Shatley, and they were talking about him. I think I heard him say, and it, this isn't Josh. Remember Josh Wells was a quarterback? I think Tyler Shatley was like a running back in high school and had like a 2,000-yard season. Really? Yeah, but I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure I heard him say that. So, anyway... Uh, looking forward to uh, to the game in a big way, but yeah, Tyler will be in for um, for Brandon Linder. For Brandon Linder, who's out tonight. So uh, let me look real quick. High school. That's curious if he. Um, I thought I, I thought I heard that, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I can't. I don't see anything. Anyway, uh, uh, Tyler. Another Tyler. Uh, hero. Uh, lived up to his name. Whew. He's, you know, he looks like a little bit to me, Mike, a young Mike Miller. A little bit. You know? it's, it's a little, it's a little smaller and a little more yeah. uh, athletic. I mean, quicker. But yeah, he, um, a very good player. Listen, you give give uh, Pat Riley and the Heat credit, man. It comes to scouting. You, you know, you want to know why this Heat team is not only good this year, but now they're starting to take Dan the look of being the best team in the East for a few years. Yeah, right. He's Twenty years old. Yeah, I know that, but Tyler Hero, Bam Adebayo, they got those two guys here in the last few years. No one was raving about either one of them before the draft, right? And they're all star level players. Now, I don't, do you, I don't know what Jimmy Butler's contract deal is. I don't know if he's going to remain in in Miami long term. But you give me Jimmy Butler, Tyler Hero, um, uh, Bam Adebayo, and then they've got that you know consortium of players that just annoy you if you're the other team. Right, well, they, they, they come in and hit threes. And they I got mean, young I, guys, I, you know. And I don't want to pick on us, but we need to be picked on. You know, us, you, beef, Bulls, Hawks, Knicks. Right, 
All, you passed on him twice. I know. We passed on him. Yeah. We got he, Kevin Herter. Why do we need a star like this? Yeah. All the Herters had a 37. But anyway, no, that was a great game. Now, uh, in, uh, in fairness. Yeah. It was the best game of his career, and he had it last night. Yeah. So, but but he looks like he's going to be a long time, really good player. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to go thirty seven every night, but he's a twenty year old kid who can yeah. really shoot. Yeah, so he's got like some JJ Redick at his best in him to me. Yeah, that's who he reminds me of him a little bit too. But anyway, but, but, I, but looks like he has a higher ceiling than Redick. Uh, Heat three, Celtics one. That's over. Celtics they, one. That's why because the Heat are so tough. I keep saying this, and then they don't happen. I would think that's over because the Heat have a toughness about them. They don't seem like the kind of team. It's got DNA to lose. They the lost two games I, in the playoffs the only, only. The only reason I keep it keep it open is because there's been so many 3-1 comebacks in this playoffs. Yeah. Um, I give the Heat credit, though, right? They went toe-to-toe with the best in the lost, East. They've lost two games yeah. in the whole postseason. Yeah. Yeah, they've been by far the best team in the East. I, I don't. I would be shocked if the Celtics come back from three one. But hey, we'll see. LeBron, by the way, and the and the Lakers take on the uh, Nuggets tonight. Nuggets have them right where they want them, down one two. Um, oh, you got to lose another one then. Uh, you've asked me, yes, who if I had a preference or who do I want in the in the postseason as a Braves fan? Yes, you asked me that a couple yes. times, and I've been wishy washy, and I really haven't thought it out. Mm-hmm. This may be dangerous, mm-hmm. what I'm about to say. All right. um, say it. I have who I want in round one, and it's, it is not even close. Like, who do I want in round And there's about seven teams there that you could choose from, right? The Giants, the Brewers, the Cardinals, yeah. the Marlins, yeah. the Phillies. You have an announcement. I, I mean, uh, you can it's either exciting. guess or then I can announce it. But I'm going to tell you, I, I – and by the way, completely fair if you don't know or have no clue because I've given no indication this feeling of want mm-hmm. – overwhelmed me earlier this morning. It's when it happened. It sprung. It has blossomed. And now there is no doubt where 100% of my vitriol, hate, and and and, and dislike is pointing. And this is the team that I want in the postseason to start things off. The Phillies. That's a good guess. They're always hateable. I, I think this is going to surprise you. That's why I brought this up. All right. We don't have to go through every team. I'll just tell you. Okay. Bring... Your shilt talking manager <laughs> in your cute little cartoon <laughs> uniform down to Atlanta, and we are going to bathe in the blood oh, beef. of the baby red bird. Oh, beef. I want the Cardinals yes, to come do. down. I want to beat them 15 nothing, and I want to follow them to the bus and tell them what I think about them as they're leaving. I haven't forgotten Mike Shilt Talker. After last season's playoff, uh-huh, where he was, uh-huh, he was a big, uh-huh. strong man in the locker room after the series was over. No one's going to say anything about us. <laughs> We're going to beat that A, t- a combined 28-4 in two games. That's what I want in the postseason. All right. That's fair. I got to say, just as an Thank aside, yeah. uh, I don't understand how Schilt talk is okay, but Dan and I talk about an award-winning TV show. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and that's because the guy's name is Mike Schilt. It doesn't sound or, I hear Noel. It doesn't sound, spell, or, I hear or look anything like a curse word. Makes you sort of hypocritical. Not at all. You actually are blurting the word out over and over and over, and I'm calling a man by his name, Mike Schilt. It's a C-H. Yeah. Yes. Mike Schilt. Yeah. Um, (laughs) uh, I'll say this about your, uh, uh, the Miami Marlins. Be careful. They can't beat us. We're putting them out of the, we're we're, we're not not saying that. It's not about you. Oh, I thought you meant us. No. My team's staring down Miami right now. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. My team's staring down Miami right now in a 3-6 matchup, and I do not like it. That, listen, the problem is the Phillies aren't, aren't going to put enough pressure. They can lose and still finish second. Who do the Phillies end with? It's <sighs> a good question. The bottom line is it's a bu- the Marlins between- have three left with the Yankees and one more with us and one more with you guys. Uh, uh, the we, Phillies- we had a fish fry, the stink fish this weekend on the text line, Marlin fan. Feel free to weigh in on now what you think the hierarchy is in the National League. Oh. East. Now that we've stomped your little gills into the ground oh. and you're filling your lungs with sand. Who do the Phillies have? <clears throat> uh, the Phillies end. Yeah, uh, they have a Friday, Saturday, Sunday three game set with the Rays in Tampa. Oh, Ooh. that's tough too. That's tough. Well, then they might. I would in. rather the Marlins get in than the Phillies. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. That. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice job, Philly. Again, have, another year of the Phillies doing nothing. We have breaking news this I had morning in the in, World Series in uh, in uh, Metroville as uh, as we say goodbye to the Wilpons as they give us a present. Our ninth losing season in the last twelve. Thank you, mm. Jeff and Fred. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. Uh, um, Dan, how are you feeling about this uh, Mets news that's breaking this morning? Yeah, Sandy Alderson will be in as the team president. I would say that's an upgrade over Jeff Wilpon. The only, the only, Sandy Alderson made one terrible, terrible move, and he did admit he regretted it, and that was letting Murph go. 
That was a disaster. I think stupid. you made more regrettable decisions than that one, but if you want to put them in the hierarchy. But yeah. I'm okay with Sandy Alderson coming in and, and being the team president, and, and that means also that Brody will be gone. It's a house cleaning, and it should be. Uh, Brody Van Wagner had two – I've let him off the hook this year. I have not – they – the fact that this team didn't make the playoffs and this expanded is disgraceful. Especially when you look at the Marlins going. Yeah, disgraceful. And, yeah, I and, 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 and I, don't care, I don't care what they say about the young manager and the New York media likes him. And he's, get him out of there. You know, yeah, there's he, too much talent there. Get him out of there. There's way too much talent. Uh, and something, something didn't work there. So uh, change it all over. Pay off the contracts you got to get rid of. Get rid of them all. And uh, keep keep the ones that you need to keep, and let's go. So anyway. Trevor Bauer won the side last night. He may th- have. He's. I mean, you got to give it to this cocky so and so beef. What did Trevor have to say when asked so humbly about his chances of winning the Cy Young after last night's performance got him to a well a near unbeatable five and four on the year? Five and four is he? Do you feel like you have cemented yourself as the Cy Young winner? I don't see how you can see it any other way. <laughs> I mean, really? <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> he might be five and three. Uh, it's one of the two. I mean, come on, man. Hey, Trevor, you're, it's a good year yeah. to not play 162. He also hit his Twitter and uh, just typed out, give me that. Did he? Good for him. Malay. He not? wants it. That's good. Listen. Um, it's, it's a very – I almost I, – I, I'd love to bring him to New York next year. He's a free agent, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The Braves yeah. consider trading for him. I, and if they the know he's going to pitch this way, it may have been worth it. I almost, Dan, the more I go here, the more I find the – and I didn't think this before it started, so I'm surprised that I do now. I, I, I find that these season awards have lost a lot of meaning for me in this year. It's not enough time to determine who the most valuable or who the Cy Young is. I mean, not, not even no. near halfway. That's so fair. it's kind of an invalid season award to it me. Is. But what do you do? I mean, I, you don't. I mean, out, I, again, I'm not saying I have a better idea, but yeah. I mean, no, I agree. Uh, it's, it's, a little, it's a little odd. Yeah, and and again, I know it's not all you know wins or losses, but it's not like like Trevor Bauer. What he said there was very misleading. He's not head and shoulders above about three or four other guys. No, it's very close. Very, very close. Hey, why did uh, Freed leave he after an inning last? Rolled night? his ankle. Oh, he's okay. Fielding. Yeah, there's nothing. Right. Nothing wrong. Rolled his ankle and it's um, like a hey, one. Yeah. In- I was looking at the box score and I saw one inning. I knew. I know he didn't pitch well, but I was like. Oh, well, that happened early. He he made that play. There were two outs, and then he gave up two home runs after he oh. he hurt the ankle during the course of it. But I mean, it doesn't really. Well, uh, well ask Doc Murphy. I think Doc Murphy saw it differently, and I think there might be torn ligaments. In you that wouldn't ankle. even notice Career it. Ender. No, it wasn't. It wasn't one where he ended up on the ground writhing in pain. He, no. just, he was stepping off the mound, and it just kind of rolled on. I think, I think Soroka came he out and helped him inning. off the field. Well, maybe Soroka's probably not walking himself the wagon. much these. Uh, these days, a couple Achilles. Shocking. Zach Wheeler with a two uh, six seven, and Aaron Nola with a three oh six. You want to know how bad the Phillies bullpen is? There's your answer. Yeah, I guys told are top you. seven point two. Guys are top eight in ERA in the league, and you yeah. have two of your four, and you yeah. can't, you know, and you're struggling to make the the postseason. The bullpen has become uh, so important in the game of baseball now. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's everything. It's well, every because these pitchers go like three or four innings now. Well, and this playoffs with everything being so condensed and yeah, no every off time, day, you every can't day. go like you know, every three days with nope. all your starters just run them to death. Yeah, and whoever wins the World Series uh, this year, bet against them next year because they're all going to have arm issues because they're going to pitch them to death during the postseason. I, I, I really would like. I am. You know, I, I'm well, not in. You. I'm not into the GMs that kind of, that much. I don't pay that much attention to them. This may be the best GM we've had. Man. What what he did to that bullpen. I mean, our yeah. bullpen last year. Pupilis is the best. He's the worst bull. We had the worst bullpen in the league last May. Okay, and now we may have the best. Certainly one of them. Yeah, so, very good. Give him credit. All right, let's do this. Let's take a break. Uh, Beef. Let's go. Caller number three right now at six four one ten ten. You can tell them what they're going to win. Caller number catch three. Catch up with Doc Murphy when we come back. A lot to do here. Uh, game day Thursday. Uh, so lot still on tap right here on the drill. Call number three right now, Dan six four one ten ten. Gonna go home with that twenty five dollar gift certificate from Win Dixie. Score more savings in the Win Dixie app. Download today for winning deals, your mystery bonus points, multiplier coupons, and more. Win Dixie, it's a win win.